Well, here we are again, and it's good to see you. And, and now we're going to talk about a laser level, uh, something that's uh, easy to use, and uh, anybody can really use it with a few uh, a few points of um, instruction. And what you would normally pick up if you uh, rented one of these is the uh, the unit itself, the laser level, a tripod to put it on, uh, what we call a stick or a calibrated rod, and a receiver. And uh, what happens here is that we um, Turn on the laser level, it's going to send out a beam. Turn it on in a minute in a horizontal plane. This receiver is moved up and down so that you can catch that beam in the receiver and that gives you a constant plane. So it's always level in that, in that plane. It gives you something to work from. The nice thing is you can use this yourself, only one person. You don't have to have two people like a um, auto level or anything. So. The way you would use this is you set up your stand, your tripod. Uh, these particular tripods are domed on the top, so it's easy to have that screw in the bottom a little loose where you hook it on, and you can swivel the, the laser level a little bit until you get the, the bubble in the, uh, in the middle. And that way, if you get the bubble in the middle, it's a lot easier and quicker to get your laser to go level in one plane. Otherwise, these lasers sometimes are trying to get level and they may be, you know, there's only a certain range that they'll pick up if the, um, if the stick is, is not level. So you try to get it as level as possible first and then turn the laser on. Then what you do is, it's fairly simple, just turn it on. You'll hear it working. The laser will be actually working when you hear a sound from it and it's trying to level itself and then the beam once it's level will start turning now it also sends out a beam in the vertical you can use these for um, building walls to make sure they're um, at right angles or they're vertical um, certainly you can use them for putting in swimming pools make sure all your feet are in uh, a level position or um, landscaping uh, putting in walkways porches uh, landscape your yard Anywhere that you want to have a fixed point that you can uh, check for level or how much something's drifting down. You can also set these and there's all kinds of different models. This is a fairly simple one, but um, there's all kinds of different models for setting slope, drainage, um, used for pipe work. So um, this general laser is probably a, a common one that at least you could operate, uh, operate yourself. So as you see, the the laser's turning, it's sending out a beam. Uh, some of the beams are visible and non-visible. This particular one is visible. And uh, say you were putting some cupboards in, in a kitchen or something, you wanted a horizontal line so that you can bring all your cupboards down level. So it's nice to have a, a, a visible one. You can put little uh, red uh, markers on the walls sometimes and it'll show the beam a little uh, more distinct. Now, if I turn on the, the uh, receiver, you can probably hear the beeping, and there's actually a, an arrow on the uh, on these receivers. They'll tell you to go up or down, and you can actually hear the tone. And when you do hit that point that it's uh, level, the tone will go constant. It'll be a, a steady sound. You'll probably hear it periodically there as I'm trying to hold this. But you know, so what you'll do is you'll have your beam. You'll go over to say I'm trying to set. Uh, pads for a swimming pool. I'll go over and I'll lift my beam up or I'll lift my receiver up or down. I'll find that level point and then I'll uh, drop my stick down or slide my receiver up and down on that stick so I find the point that it's picking the beam up at a steady point. Then I have my reference point. Then I know that my distance that I want that to be is uh, consistent. So to be steady, now I can go over to the next pad and if it's not touching it, I can lift it. If it's touching it and it's too high, I can take it down lower and keep checking it until I get it to the same height. And I can go around and check all the, uh, all the pads in a the, uh, the swimming pool. Say there's six posts to support it in an above ground pool. And then uh, that way you can get all your posts straight so, and uh, level so that you, obviously you're gonna have a, uh, a level uh, water. Uh, your water in your pool will be uh, level. So, uh, Fairly simple to use, um, but uh, be aware that it's opposite to the ground. You lift it up, all right? You've got to lift up what's down underneath. 
and uh, you push down and if it's going to go lower you got to dig out and go down lower so but it's um, make sure that the uh, tripod and that never gets kicked or anything but the nice thing is on on this particular model even if it gets touched a bit it'll stop it'll reset itself to level so that you're never going to be off um, some of them may not do that and you got to be aware that you don't want a beam that's going to be off when you're trying to go around and level everything if, if it got kicked or touched. Okay, so there's something that can certainly make a, a job easier, can make it more accurate, and um, something you might want to consider when you're doing some of your projects around the home. And uh, that's it for that item, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.